When starting to work around an unfamiliar horse, make sure it can see and hear you and also let it smell you. Just like people, horses develop a personal comfort zone around them. A horse's comfort zone or flight zone is the minimal distance that allows him to escape from a predator. Allow time for a horse to adapt to you entering this zone in order to minimize the horse's reaction. Horses also have lines of motion. When a handler is within the comfort or flight zone, they will cause the horse to move forward or backward depending on which side of the line of motion they are standing on. The quicker you move into the flight zone, the quicker the horse reacts. Backing out of the flight zone allows the horse to calm and slow down or stop. The horse's natural reaction to real or imagined danger is one of two things, fight or flight. If a horse can run, they usually will. This is called the flight response. However, if they feel cornered or trapped, their second reaction is to defend themselves with one or more of their four defense tools. This is called the fight reaction. One defense a horse can use to protect itself from danger is its teeth. A horse can use its mouth in a very quick and efficient manner to grab anything it feels may be a threat, such as a person or a brush. When grooming your horse, it's a good idea to keep everything you need in a bucket out of the horse's reach. The horse also uses its teeth for grabbing feed and to give affectionate scratching to its pasture mates. A second defense is the horse's front legs and hooves. A horse can kick a leg forward to strike at a threat in front of it. Its hooves may also smash your toes if you aren't paying attention to where your feet are. Defense tool number three is the hind legs, and a horse can direct them with a high degree of accuracy. Avoid kicks by paying attention and not threatening or scaring your horse. Defense tool number four is the least dangerous. It is the tail. It is usually used to keep flies off themselves or their herd mates, but if you get in the way, the tail can swat you fairly hard. Your eyes are especially vulnerable, so watch out. To avoid these defenses, there are several precautions you can take. Stay out of range of the mouth and pay attention. Don't stand directly in front of or behind the horse. If you have to work near the horse's body, remain close. If it does kick, you won't get the full force of the blow. When moving to the opposite side of the horse, always place your hand across the hind quarter before walking around the horse. If the horse is going to kick, he will kick at this time and you will be off to the side. Then walk around behind the horse as close as possible or move out of kicking range as you move around. Always let the horse know you are around it and what you're doing by remaining in its vision, talking to it or touching it. Horses also establish a pecking order the horse on the very bottom of the pecking order will usually act submissively to every other horse in the herd. Watch out that you don't get run over when the pecking order is in action. Horses have a good memory, and during training, it is necessary to make experiences good and comfortable for both the horse and handler. When horses are forced, for instance, to load into a trailer, you may complete the goal that day, but the next time someone has to load that horse, they will have more problems. Remember, good habits are easier to train than bad habits are to break. Some other functions that contribute to individual horse behavior include breeding background and what the foal's mother is like, the environment, other horses that the foal has been exposed to, past and current experiences with people, and individual traits that the horse possesses. The more you know about your horse, its background, and its temperament, the better. Learning to read a horse's response reaction, whether you know them or not, is fairly simple. Pay attention to its ears, eyes, nostrils, tail movement, and shifting of weight to indicate what the horse might do next. Often you can evaluate a horse's temperament or frame of mind by the position of its ears. A horse that is attentive will have ears perked forward or will swivel the ears to follow wherever you are. However, 
If the horse has its head raised, its ears perked forward, its eyes wide and nostrils flaring, it may be preparing to bolt. A horse that is bored or lackadaisical may have its ears half cocked and neither forward nor back. A horse that is paying attention to you, for instance, if you're working at its flank, will have one or both ears back but not pinned against his neck. An angry horse will flatten its ears back, possibly bare its teeth, and swish its tail as a threat, and then follow through by using its teeth and feet. When a horse is angry and shifts its weight to be able to free its legs for kicking, stand clear. 